Hello everybody and welcome to my very first poker vlog. I'm not really that familiar with the kind of stuff that you need to be familiar with to make a vlog. I'm not a camera expert, I'm not a microphone expert, and I'm definitely not an expert at filming and talking and in front of cameras and stuff like that. But I do think that I offer a unique perspective. I'm a poker player in Houston, Texas which is a city that you probably don't really hear about too much in the poker scene, but we have a thriving poker scene. There are lots of games here, especially recently. We've had an uptick in games because about a year ago, places started to open up that are operating in, I guess what you might call a gray area. Previously, there were no legal card rooms in Houston. They were only underground games and home games, but these new rooms have opened up. They are not raking. You cannot tip the dealers, but they take a time charge. They rent you a seat. So essentially they are, I wouldn't call it a loophole, but basically they're just, they're operating an area that is for what most people can tell, not actually illegal. So that being said, We've got some really nice poker rooms in Houston now. Um, one of the ones that I spent a lot of time at is called Prime Social. There was another one that opened up uh, before that that was called Post Oak Poker Club. Those are both very nice places. Um, so yeah, I look forward to showing off what we have to offer. And that's not it for Houston. We've got a lot of other great things that I can show you guys. We've got awesome food. Uh, we are one of the fattest cities in the U.S., which may sound bad, but if we know one thing, it's food. So uh, until you've had actual Texas barbecue, I don't feel like you've lived. It is amazing. People wait in line outside in the heat for hours, and sometimes they sell out before 1 o'clock. These are the kind of places that... I love to go to, and I would like to share that kind of stuff with you guys too. Um, so the first assignment in the vlog contest was that I need to tell you about myself and also what poker means to me. As for myself, I'm 38, I have three kids, and I'm married. Poker has meant a lot of things to me over the year, years. I've been playing for 15 years now. It has sort of came and went in my life at various times. And right now it is something that takes up a lot of my mental space when I'm not doing, you know, my necessary life duties, <laughs> I guess is a good way to put it. So, you know, anytime that I can be thinking about poker or playing poker, I'm I'm definitely doing that anytime that I can. So I originally started in 2002, I would say, which I think a lot of people did. That was the big poker boom when Moneymaker won the WSOP. And I played online quite a bit for about five or six years. And some life things happened to me in the probably 2010, 2011 time period. And then also there was Black Friday. So I took a break from poker and for the, about the last uh, five years up until a year and a half ago, I really didn't play much. But I had a friend who was playing and he knew I used to play a lot and he knew that, you know, that I was pretty into it when I did play. So he brought it up to me like, hey, we should go play some poker. Um, you know, he was playing at some of the underground rooms here in Houston and also at a couple home games. And I said, you know what? I need to get back into poker because when I was into poker, um, man, I just I just had a lot of fun. I met a lot of cool people. I had a lot of great experiences. It's just a great game. And I really enjoyed studying it and getting better and, you know, going to different casinos and card rooms and checking everything out. So I started playing again and I got hooked again. So I've been playing for about a year and a half now. Currently I'm playing mostly live. I play two five when it's available or I'll play one three or one three pot limit. 
Pot Limit's a newer, Pot Limit Omaha is a newer thing. I, don't, I haven't really been playing that for very long, but I'm actually really enjoying the new challenge. There's so many uh, interesting things to learn in that area that, you know, maybe doesn't feel as solved as, as Hold'em does right now. I feel like when you sit down at a Hold'em table, it's like the worst person at the table is, yeah, I mean, they're not that bad sometimes. So, but you know, you sit down at a pot limit Omaha table, there can be some pretty juicy games. But anyways, that's what I think I could bring to the vlog scene, the Houston poker and everything else that Houston has to offer. I uh, will talk about myself for a little bit. As I said, I am a family man and I have a love of games. I have a collection of over a hundred board games. And a lot of times I'll have game nights where I have my friends over and we'll crack open two to three hour long board game, drink some scotch and have a blast. I also love competition. I grew up competing. I was into sports and when I got older, I was into PC gaming competitions like Starcraft 2, Quake 3, stuff like that. I also have competed in powerlifting, which I don't do anymore, but I do still lift a lot. And that's another thing that I think I could do on the vlog is we could have a little bit of uh, lifting, lifting sessions that, you know, you know, we could talk about uh, different techniques and different training methods and stuff like that. I know there are uh, you know, quite a few people are into that kind of stuff these days. So maybe that's something else we could address. Um, I also love to be creative. I don't know. Poker in itself is probably not the most creative thing, but this is certainly a creative endeavor for me doing this vlog. And previously I've done a lot of creative things. I used to be in a band. I was a copywriter at an advertising agency and I was a professional chef. Nowadays, my job is, it's a good job, but it's not creative. So I'm kind of missing that in my life right now. I don't really have anywhere to put my creative energy. And if the worst thing that happens from being in this contest is that I start a vlog and learn some things and get to express my you know, creative self, then hey, I'm gonna chalk that up to a win. So. Not to say I wouldn't love to go to Aruba and compete in that tournament because I absolutely would. But you know, I think when you do something like this, you have to do it for multiple reasons and you have to be willing to take things away from it, good or bad, no matter what happens. So I'm not really sure how long this video is at this point, but I don't really have too much else to say right now other than I had some ideas for this first video. I, you know, right now it's just me talking in front of a camera, which I feel like is not very creative and is probably kind of boring. But I also wanted to introduce myself properly. And the deadline for this contest kind of came up on me pretty quick. And I sort of didn't really get a chance to put together a couple things that I had, ideas that I'd had that I would like to try it out. Um, as I said, I've never done stuff like this before. So the whole, you know, I tried to do some stuff with the editing software and it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to, but we're gonna keep trying and we're gonna hope that vlog number two is maybe a little more interesting, a little more creative. And hopefully by the time we roll around to that vlog number five, we will be a seasoned vlogger. Probably not, but you know, that's what we're going for. That's the goal. So anyways, I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video because I know that there are probably a hundred other videos just like it. And I look forward to bringing you video number two. Thanks again. Bye.